So I'm just doing a short addendum here to the earlier tutorial where we used Birkin tile and multi-texture to create this seamless non-tiling brick wall. Now the problem with this is that there's no bump. And if you do a bump map the normal way, it won't work. So here we have the Birkin tile and the multi-texture and the images. The brick is this, or bricks like this, and the bump looks something like this. I can put this bump in here and I can set it to 30. It doesn't matter how many times I render, I just get a flat wall. It doesn't matter what setting I put here, how high I put my bump, I still get a flat wall. So the solution here is V-Ray have V-Ray color to bump. Now if you put that right here where the Birkin tile is, so the Birkin tile goes through color to bump, then this then creates, allows this to be a bump map and it allows it to show up. Um, now on the material I have the bump set to 30 which is the default so you can leave it at that you can put it higher it really doesn't matter that much but the point is is this amount here is to do with that other amount you need to have both of these set high so you set this up 150 mil or 200 mil something like this and then when you click render instead of having this flat render you get this all this detail in the bricks You have nothing with bump, and the solution is that colored bump. Here's another one. You can clearly see the bump going on there. So that's how you get bump map with Burke and Tile. Now a little bit more. We're just going to create these bump maps because by default you have this diffuse map here. You know, and I've got these diffuses plugged in as gone over in the previous tutorial. So and you need a bump to look something like that. So what you can do is you take this, you need to have this adjustment layer here in Photoshop. Now, if you don't, for whatever reason, this is gone, you can just click up here on this, and you can click Photography, and then you click Reset Photography, and then these will come back. So what you want is you want it to make it black and white, which is this one. Now, down needs to be darker, so you need that darker. So you want to invert it, and then you need to add, a, I'll add a curves, put one dot here and pull down to make the darks darker, one dot here and push up to make the lights lighter. Now we get a lot of these blurry bits on the edges, so we're just going to take this, I'm going to press Control J to make a duplicate of it, and I'm going to click up here at Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set this at 1, try 2, 2 will be good. Now I've got this. Now if I want, I can take a come over here, click on the brush, then I press Control, Alt, right click, and the diameter gets bigger and smaller. And I should be seeing that in my screen, but I'm not. Oh, there you go. It was bigger than the entire screen. So set that down, press these colors, red and white, that's a bit weird. Press D, go back to default. And then you can just, if you're getting the wrong color, just press Control Z to undo, press X, these flip and then you get the right color so just come through and you can paint this on you don't have to let's change that opacity get that down to about 60 you don't want to get rid of all of the detail here you can undo up here with this you can undo like that and like that and like that that's undone all the brushes okay get rid of that hardness and just put it here And then save that out as your bump map. Now, when you've saved, you've got to load it in through multi texture. Just to run through the settings quickly on multi texture, you've got to make sure that says Birkin tile. And that blur, right click on the spin and get that as low as you can. On Birkin tile, you want to put in the size here of your brick. So a standard English brick is 215mm and 65mm high. Yet, what we're doing is we're adding on 10 mil for the mortar. So that's 225 and 75. Make sure that's zero and that's zero. Uh, soften will be on round or smooth. Turn that to none. Round corners is checked by default. Turn that off. Make sure your multi texture is coming into color one. And then make sure enable tile mapping is checked. By default, that is off. 
and if that's off you're not going to get anything. So that's the settings here on Birkenthaler multi texture and using V-Ray color to bump so at 200 or 150 or whatever you like plug it into bump and when you render you're away. You get that instead of that. There you go. I hope that helps.